They came to Jesus and demanded for a sign. He said, you should give them a sign so that they can believe in him. And Jesus answered, it's only an evil and adulterous generation that seeks for sign. And no sign will be given to this evil generation because they don't deserve it. They don't, it's not what they require. Because the signs are bound around them but they are not interested. He said the sign that will give it to this evil generation is the sign of Jonah. And Jonah stayed three days in the belly of a well. So the son of man will be under the earth for three days and three nights. The gods say, on the day of judgment, the men of Nineveh will rise against this evil generation and condemn it. For Jonah prayed to them and they repented. And somebody greater than Jonah had prayed that this evil generation never repented. So he will condemn them. Somebody greater than Jonah is here. And they are not showing any repentance. On the last day of the judgment day, the queen of the Sheba from the south will come and condemn this evil generation. Because they came all the way from south to come and listen to the hear the wisdom of Solomon. And somebody greater than Solomon is here. And the evil generation now asking for signs. So when you see people who demand signs and miracles before they keep believing God, that evil generation. The adulterous generation. And that's why Jesus is making it clear today that when about many of us look about it, unless I see, unless I do this. When the signs are around you, even your being is a testimony already about God. It's already a sign. Your environment is a sign. Everything in heaven and earth is witnessing for God. And you are asking for a sign. You yourself is a sign. Now why? He said, and when people become an evil generation, they do many funny things, pretending they are serving God. The prophet Micah prophesied to Israelites. And God will ask them, what have I not done for you? What have I done to worry you? For you to be asking me how do you worship God? What will our God accept you? Ask questions. Shall we offer him a bull, a small offering? Thousands of rams? Or ten thousands of rivers oil? Or shall we offer our first son for our transgressions? Our first being for our sins? You are saying that when you become an evil generation, you ask these questions. Ask questions that are not relevant to the time. You don't know what to do and you don't listen to the word of God. And you just say, What I require for you is justice. If you are just here in God, be just to be a God. That's all what He demands from you. Loving kindness is what God demands from you. And walk humbly before the Lord your God. That's what God requires for you. Not offering you think you are finding burnt, burnt offering. I will love my soul. Will I do a free generation does this? A humble heart, God will never 
spawn. A loving child of God is loved by God. When you have this loving kindness in you, you become a good, you become a witness for God who is loving and full of kindness. When you stand for justice, you stand for God. So God wants you to offer justice, loving kindness, and walk humbly before Him. That's what He requires. But when you belong to the you begin to ask some questions that will show that you are, you are not interested in what you are saying. You want to do a standard, not internal things. You don't do nothing out of conviction. You don't want to do for sure. That doesn't please God. How about the psalmist say, for him who is blameless, God will show him the salvation. Now the psalmist proclaimed, the ones whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. Not that evil generation. If we generation doesn't know God, they don't believe God, they don't worship God, they don't that God, God. And they're going to do their own things, they're thinking, pretending and worshiping God. So, we have seen the consequences of evil war. And I want to we say, Blessed Apollo Naris. Apollo Naris is a bishop of Malta, born in Lavena, and was the first bishop of Lavena in Italy. He became the first bishop of Ravenna in Italy. He was born in Antioch. He is possibly a disciple of St. Peter. The high veneration paid to this very saint by the early church shows the, the, the is a testimony of the holiness of this bishop. And he died a matter, suffered great torture in the hand of persecution. He persecutors and died. So he's respected all over the place. And today the church celebrates him, being the mother of the church and bishop of the church. He doesn't belong to the evil generation. And the evil generation persecuted him. We will ask God through his intercession to help us to be belong to the subjects of God, not the evil generation, but the generation of God. We add this through Christ our Lord. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us as we celebrate our beautiful own community and people of God. Name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.